In the last video we were looking at vowels and at how we can describe them. And we used three main dimensions to describe them. The height of your tongue, the frontness and backness of your tongue, and the roundness of your lips. So for example, with height, your tongue could be high, mid, or low. As in the sounds, yeah, yeah. As for the frontness or backness, with a sound like e, your tongue is towards the front, and u, it's towards the back. As for roundness, again with e, u, in e, your lips are spread and unrounded. With u, your lips are rounded. This is enough to describe the vowels in most languages. However, English has a special kind of vowel where your muscles are more relaxed versus more tense. We call these tense and lax vowels. So in English, we have this vowel, e, for example, in the word beam or beat. This vowel is high because your tongue is high. E. It is front because the tongue is towards the front of your mouth. E. And it is unrounded because your lips are spread. E. It is also tense in the muscles of your cheek and your tongue. E. E. I want you to put your hands on your cheeks and compare this one to this one here, which is the sound in a word like kit or tip. First this one and then this one. You can feel that you, the muscles on your cheeks are actually relaxing. There's vowels that have laxer muscles. That's why we call them lax vowels. This one is high front, tense, and unrounded. This one is almost identical, high front, unrounded, but it is lax in its muscle action. This is something we need for English because English has a lot of lax vowels, as you can see here. For example, this consonant is tense, I'm sorry, this vowel is tense, Ooh, but this vowel is lax, the one in book, put, and should. So we have tense vowels and lax vowels. And we need these four items to describe the vowels of English. And here we have them, the simple vowels of English. The vowels in words like beat, bit, bet, bat, boot, put, bought, pot, but, and we have a last one here, schwa, uh, in words like among, Asia, eloquent, famous, harmony, um, schwa. So you don't need to know the names for any of the other symbols, but schwa you do need to know because it's very important in English. So these are the simple vowels of English. We're going to call them monophthongs, mono for just one. And they are in contrast with another structure in English called a diphthong. Diphthongs are complex vowels where your tongue starts in one position and ends in a different position. They are complex because they could be thought of as having two vowels in one. For example, we have the diphthong that starts here and ends here in like standard American English, I, I, um, fine, fine. We have one here that starts in the a uh and ends in u. Uh. Bout, loud, for example. This one is the one in boy, boy. Oi, um, annoy. <laughs> this one, O, it happens, it's here, O. It's in words like O, boat, grow, over. This one, very short one too, A, 
is the one in words like bait, great, age. Here we have examples of transcriptions. Boy, bout, bait, and great. Again, notice how we're using the upside down R for the English R and a diphthong here, A, to describe the vowels. Great. All right. So these are the simple and complex vowels of English. And you might have noticed like, me doing like air quotes and saying like in standard American English and so forth. The truth is that English is very complex in its vowels and it has a lot of variation. So you might uh, have noticed that people in Australia have a very different accent. The people in Scotland have a very different accent and it's mostly because their vowels are very different. Also within the United States, there's a lot of variation in how people use the vowels. So for example, oh, wrong window. Four. This is a beautiful map from Max Planck of people pronouncing the word four. And with the uh, IPA transcriptions, for example, Fauer. Fauer. Fool. Fauer. Fauer. Four. 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 Let's go across the pond to listen to some examples in the U.S. Four. 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 All right. And Four. some from South Africa here. Four. From Australia and New Zealand. Oh, not from Australia. And no pronunciation from New Zealand. Maybe some, maybe one from India, please. Ah, well, at least we have the ones from the UK. So you can see how, uh, I'm gonna show you very briefly the one for three, for example. Three. 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 So as you can see, there's a lot of variation in the vowels in the English speaking world. So maybe the vowels that I'm showing you in these slides don't correspond to yours. And that is not only perfectly fine, but you want to learn to transcribe your own vowels because those are the ones that you use in the way you speak English. Give it a try. Try to see if you can transcribe these words, candy, mouth, hook, bill, and own, now using the consonants of the IPA and these vowels. I recommend that you try to use these ones for like standard American English, but um, if your accent diverges a lot, try to describe it in your own dialect. Uh, please give it a try. Pause the video. All right. Using this standard, we get a word like candy. Candy. Um, as you can see, this is a, eh, then bat, and this is e, candy. We have mouth. Mouth that rhymes with loud. We have hook. Hook. We have the symbol because it's the same consonant as in foot or could hook this one bill could have you might have written it short you might have written it long at this stage both are fine but the important part here is that you have the dark l bill and the vowel i as in bit or jim bill and own 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 so in summary English has tense and lax vowels, so we need four bits of information to describe vowels in English. The height of the tongue, the frontness and backness of the tongue, the roundness of your lips, and how tense or lax a vowel is. And English has a lot of variation, so your vowels might be different from like this cardinal standard version, and that is fine.
we're going to um, learn with a standard, but it is fine for you to transcribe them the way you pronounce them.